Ray Dalio's biography and investment style. Ray's childhood and early influences. Ray Dalio, also known as Raymond Thomas Dalio, was born on August 8, 1949 in Queens, New York. He wasn't the most dedicated student, but he was the most inquisitive. He was the son of a jazz musician and a housewife. He had the desire to earn money since a young age, so he applied for a job as a local paperboy, earning enough money from it to purchase his first airline shares. He was delighted to learn, as a beginner investor, that his first choice had been the right one and that he had earned money from the sale of those initial shares. He began to believe that investing in the stock market was a simple way to generate money before losing virtually all of it almost on a whim and without conducting any research. He understood from this that there are no guaranteed bets in the stock market. Later, he obtained employment at a golf club frequented by stockbrokers and investors. Ray picked up the balls and passed the clubs to the players, who also gave him advice, as he listened to investment discussions. Education and Career Path Dalio completed his undergraduate studies at the small Long Island University, but because to his stellar performance, he was eventually accepted into Harvard Business School. Ray demonstrated his abilities as an investor by managing the assets of some of his classmates before graduation, which allowed him to pay for his education. Ray Dalio joined a company that managed resources based on commodity solutions after completing his doctoral studies. Dalio was persuaded of the significance of including these options in a portfolio since, in his opinion, they aid in risk diversification during times of crisis. Ray was doing extremely well in this company and had even advanced to management level, but he had a falling out with his employer that led to his termination. The Birth of Bridgewater In 1975, after being let go, he started building his own business from home. He started by managing funds for his previous clients, moved on to selling financial reports and suggestions, and then transitioned to handling substantial capital flows. Failure and Life Lesson Ray Dalio, who was confident in his abilities to manage money, took a sequence of choices in the middle of the 1980s that forced him to declare bankruptcy and fire all of his workers. He went to his father to borrow $4,000 to invest in order to recover, feeling slightly defeated but understanding that it was his ego and arrogance that had gotten him into that predicament. In 1983, he established Bridgewater, the biggest hedge fund manager in the world. It today employs more than 1,500 people, manages the money of several sizable corporations, and, as if that weren't enough, has a contract with the World Bank Pension Fund since 1985. Investment Principles and Style After experiencing failure, he was determined to learn from it and make amends, so he wrote a PDF that he initially offered for free on the Bridgewater website. However, the PDF's popularity convinced him to expand it and publish it in conventional form, and it has since sold more than a million copies. Principles is a lecture on the values that ought to guide people's lives in at least three key areas. Values for labor, values for living, and values for investments. Redalio has created his risk parity principle in relation to this final part investment principles, which, in his words, is about balancing risk, not money quantities. This means that regardless of the stage of the economic cycle we are in, portfolios should be built on the basis of assets that are not associated with one another and that, while taking into consideration periods of inflation and economic growth, always include assets that generate positive returns. In order to ensure that the risk is always equalized, Ray Dalio called his investment technique the all-weather portfolio. Ray Dalio currently holds an honorary role inside his organization, and his ideas have gained widespread acclaim for both his books and statements like Money is Garbage, in which he supports the value of holding gold in a well-diversified portfolio. Ray Dalio is a living financial legend that any investor can learn from.
whether he's teaching how the economic system works or getting us to consider the rules that govern all facets of our life. Please subscribe for more investing videos.